A new school year is upon us. For many, this is an exciting time as children look forward to meeting their friends, making new friends, and interacting with peers and teachers during their learning process. With this, the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs seeks to inform educators, parents, and children to take the necessary precautions to ensure they remain safe whilst at school. Despite the recent relaxation of the COVID-19 protocols, the threat of COVID-19 remains. A look at our epidemic curve indicates a sustained transmission of the virus at an average rate of 43 cases per day over the past eight weeks. In spite of the decreasing number of laboratory tests, there is a consistent 22% positivity rate indicating that while transmission is ongoing, more persons are self-treating and as such the actual number of infected persons is much higher than that reported. The Ministry of Health notes that a number of cases of hand, foot and mouth disease have been reported. This disease is endemic in St. Lucia and mostly affects children under the age of five. However, it is very contagious and can spread quickly. Hand, foot and mouth disease is not a serious illness, but in very rare cases, it can lead to hospitalization. Parents and educators are therefore urged to be on the alert for children presenting with fevers and ask that they seek medical attention from a wellness center or family physician at the soonest. It is important that we remain vigilant and continue safe practices in order to avert any outbreaks within our educational institutions. An outbreak of any disease could lead to disruptions in school activities, which would once again hamper the academic and social development of our youth who have already been severely impacted over the last two years. It is only through collective responsibility and the practice of good sanitary and hygiene practices, as well as adherence to health and safety guidelines, that we can return as close to normalcy as possible. The Ministry of Health advises that with emerging and existing infectious diseases, the following infection prevention and control measures in the schools must be adhered to. These include the frequent washing of hands, cough etiquette, that is covering your cough or sneeze, isolation of a sick child and notification of their parents, ensuring that sick children remain at home, continued cleaning and disinfection of the educational institutions. This is also a time to encourage and support our children by fostering healthy lifestyle habits, such as getting adequate rest and sleep, making healthy choices in foods by eating more fruits and vegetables, becoming physically active, promoting good mental health, ensuring that our children remain focused on the task at hand. The continued operations of schools are extremely important. Schools are not just buildings, but for many, they are sanctuaries and safe havens where young minds are molded and ideas are nurtured. Together, let us ensure the safe operations of our schools so that our children may have the future they deserve. The Ministry of Health thanks you for your continued support as we continue to keep St. Lucia healthy and safe. Thank you.